let me begin with a Dr. Seuss quote. When we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we fall in mutual weirdness and call it love. It's safe to say that Becca and Matt are in love. I knew this the moment I heard them singing all the words to Love is an Open Door from Disney's Frozen. And not because it's a love song. Actually, it was as if they had been rehearsing it. Clearly, this must be love. When Matthew first sat me down in the food court in Southgate Mall to tell me about Becca, I just knew by the look on his face that this was a very special girl. When I asked Matthew what she was like, Matthew could not say enough good things about her, and for good reason. It was not long before I finally got to meet her myself, and it was easy for me to see that you two belong together. Becca, I know that Matthew is in good hands with you. You're just what he needs. You complement each other so perfectly, and you're truly an answer to prayer. I love you two so much, and I pray God's richest blessings on you as you begin your life together as a married couple. Proverbs 18.22 says, The man who finds a wife finds a good thing. She is a blessing to him from the Lord. You are his, Rebecca. And God is so good. I, I, I always remember what Grandma, my mom, always said. That you always find a good wife that has a good backing. And she obviously does with Paul and Kayleen. And we praise the Lord for that, that she comes from a Christian home and that she knows the Lord. And they are, they're growing stronger together every day. I, it's amazing that when she first came to the house, it's just like, great kid, great girl, love her. But as time went on, we could see their walk with the Lord deepen and deepen and deepen. God impressed um, part of Genesis 23, and I've, I've told Rebecca this. Chapter 23, 55 to 58. When they arose in the morning, he said, send me away to my master. Her brother and her mother said, let the young woman remain with us a little while, at least 10 days. After that, she may go. But he said to them, do not delay me since the Lord has prospered my way. Send me away that I may go to my master. They said, let us call the young woman and ask her. And they called Rebecca and said to her, will you go with this man? And she said, I will go. In reflection today of the wedding of uh, my daughter Rebecca to Matthew, and likewise, Matthew to Rebecca. There's something more important yet to be revealed. And this is a reflection of God's image in your marriage and the reality and witness of Emmanuel, God with us. Yeah. 
send you forth in the power of the Holy Spirit. You will accomplish your single destiny. There's a purpose for this marriage that's beyond just your happiness and fulfillment and even the children that will be born. There is divine purpose that could not be fulfilled in any other way. So, Father, we bless them now as the family and all friends and relatives gathered here, and we pronounce upon them now what we witness in our spirit that this was ordained by you. It was not only their choice, it was your purpose, and that purpose let it be fulfilled now. We pronounce this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. I am very proud, actually, of their stand for God. And uh, just what I have seen, the growth in Matthew's life, and as he has desired that uh, God would just flow through him and use him in his ministry. And I've met uh, Becca now a few times uh, as well, and I can see that they're well made for each other. And I just pray a blessing on them, that God will use them in ways that maybe our generation has never seen before because our country, North America, needs to be touched afresh by God. And I know that it's people like Matt and some of the guys up here that God is really going to use. So I do speak a blessing and declare that upon their lives that God would just use them in incredible ways. I just want to thank her for her voice. It seems, yeah, always breaks out in song, whether it's a goofy one or a song of praise. And I pray that blessing that it would infuse in other people as she sings just that heart song of mission between the two of them for other people. Psalm 52. But Matt and Becca, you are an olive tree flourishing in the house of God. Trust in God's unfailing love forever. For what he's done, always praise him in the presence of the faithful people and hope in his name, for his name is good.